Hello, I'm Daniel, aka Disk Infiltrator. I'm sure when you hear the word modular, your head goes like this. It can all get a little bit confusing, right? So today I want to show you how a guy like this or a guy like this are patched internally and we are going to translate that into a modular environment so we get a better understanding of how a basic modular patch works. Before we start patching, I want to show you what we have here. Uh, first, we have three oscillator uh, module, so it's three VCOs all together, uh, together with the noise generator and a ring modulator. Um, we have selectable waveforms, of course, and uh, we also have a few CV inputs on the left, and we also have a mixer, so we wouldn't need an um, external mixer. Of course, um, when we don't have this, we can add a mixer later. Uh, we also have a filter, a very nice filter by Mutable Instruments. We have um, two envelope generators, we have two LFOs, we have an FX unit, and finally we have one single VCA. On the lower row we have a slew generator, we have several multiples, we have a couple of attenuators, and we have a buffered attenuator, which is good for signals like clock signals. We also have a MIDI input we won't be using today, uh, because everything is going to be sent directly from the Arturia keystep, you can see on this corner, and we are also going to add a few rhythms from the RD8, which, which you can see here. Uh, the RD8 is also connected via MIDI, uh, sending clock to the Arturia keystep, so everything is synced up. So let's get started. As you can see, our VZA is already connected to our mixer, and if we patch the output from the VZO into the input of the VZA, and we crank up the gain, as you can hear, we have a signal going. This is because the VCO is always sending sound through its output. Now, of course, we cannot do anything with this, and if we decided to send a CV, a voltage, um, into our VCO, we can do that. I can play notes. But as you can hear, this guy doesn't shut up, so the note keeps hanging forever. So, this is when our envelope generators come into play. So the envelope generator basically is going to take our gate signal, the uh, gate signal is um, it's a voltage signal that can be open or closed, but the envelope generator is going to also shape it, and it's um, actually going to tell the VCA when to stop according to the nodes we, we send to the VCO. So, we're going to patch again our VCO. We're going to crank down the signal and we are going to send a pitch signal into the VCO and we are going to also send a gate signal into the envelope generator and we are going to patch the output of the envelope generator into the modulation input from our VCA. So again, if we if we crank up the gain, we have a signal always. But now, if we crank the gain down, it's actually our envelope generator telling the VCA when to start and when to stop. So nice, now we can 
play notes but it's still a little bit simple right so the typical thing to do here we're gonna leave this part up and we're gonna send signal from the output of the VCO into the input of our filter and we're gonna send signal from the output of our filter into the input of our VCA so this would be a basic audio signal in any analog scene so as you can see now we have a filter in the middle this is of course all very nice but we can't start now spicing things up a little bit and as we have more than one oscillator we can start adding more sounds nice so now our VCO sounds a little bit farther so what do we want the other envelope generator for uh, we can actually send also an envelope signal to the to the filter we are not going to do that now but I'm gonna show you how we can start adding some modulation so another very typical thing to modulate is the for example the filter frequency so if we pass the output from our LFO into the frequency input of our filter our LFO is affecting the filter we can change the shape we can change the speed but as you can hear there's a small problem here and the problem is that we cannot control the amount of modulation that we send into the filter this is when an attenuator comes in handy so the attenuator will help us sort the amount of signal we send into the filter so we're gonna patch the output of our first LFO into the attenuator and the output of our attenuator is gonna go into the filter so now as you can see there's no modulation going now we have modulation going and I may want a little bit less nice that's good uh, what if we for example want to modulate at the same time the frequency and the filter resonance so we can do that by using a multiple so what we're gonna do is after the attenuator we're gonna patch into the input of one of our, of our multiples and we're gonna send multiple signals multiple the multiple modules are actually a splitter so it's gonna split the signal in this case into three outputs identical outputs and now we are modulating at the same time the resonance and the filter frequency after this what we can do uh, we can we can keep going and um, we have a second LFO going so I may want to add a little bit of modulation into the oscillators we can select all the oscillators here so let's patch the second LFO into the oscillators and this time we have an attenuator built in into the VCO
Nice. So just a little bit. So before this all gets a little bit crazy, there's something, there's a couple more things which I'd like to do. First, I would like to add some effects. So we are going to patch the output of the filter into the input of our effects unit. I have some reverb loaded in and the output into the VCA. Nice, now we have river. Awesome. The very last thing I want to do is you've seen the slew. The slew is known as glide of portamento in many other scenes. So how can we add it? We want to add it actually before the CV signal reaches the VCO. So what we're going to do is we're going to patch the output of the Arturia keystep into the input of our slew generator and the output of our slew generator into the input of the oscillator. So what the slew generator does is create a curve between different voltages. So basically this is it, this is a basic modular path. So now uh, to round things up, we can jump a little bit. We have a rhythm going with the bring gear at the eight. Of course, we can patch our modular synth in many different ways. This is just a basic example of what we can do and how we can replicate a classical synth voice in the modular world. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful for you and see you on the next video. Happy enough twisting. Bye bye.